In the vast cosmos of data science, two stars shine brighter than the rest, Python and R. These two programming languages have carved out their niches, aiding data scientists in their quest for knowledge extraction. Python, a general purpose language, slithered its way into the data science realm with its simplicity and versatility. Its straightforward syntax makes it easy to grasp, even for beginners. Python is a jack of all trades, adept at handling diverse tasks, from web development to machine learning. Its wide array of libraries like NumPy for numerical computations, Pandas for data manipulation, and Matplotlib for data visualization, make Python a one-stop shop for data scientists. However, every rose has its thorns. Python's general-purpose nature can be a double-edged sword. It may lack the depth in statistical modeling that specialized languages offer. Moreover, Python's performance can falter with large datasets, potentially slowing down the data analysis process. Now, let's shift our gaze to R. Born in the realm of statisticians, R is a specialized language for statistical computing and graphics. It boasts a rich ecosystem of packages such as dplyr for data manipulation, ggplot2 for data visualization, and Carré for machine learning. R's advanced statistical capabilities make it a favorite among statisticians and researchers, but even R isn't without its flaws. Its steep learning curve can deter beginners. Unlike Python's straightforward syntax, R's syntax can seem quirky and inconsistent. Additionally, R might not be the best choice for tasks beyond data analysis and visualization like web development or app creation. So, how do we choose between Python and R? It's like choosing between a Swiss Army knife and a scalpel. Python, the Swiss Army knife, is versatile but may lack depth in certain areas. R, the scalpel, excels in its specialized field but may not be as versatile. Your choice depends on your needs and the nature of your data science projects. To summarize, Python offers simplicity, versatility, and a wide array of libraries, making it a great choice for beginners and general purpose projects. However, it may lack depth in statistical modeling and struggle with large datasets. On the other hand, R offers advanced statistical capabilities and a rich ecosystem of packages, making it great for deep statistical analysis, but its steep learning curve and limited versatility could be drawbacks. Remember, the best tool is the one that gets the job done. Both Python and R have their strengths and weaknesses, and understanding these can help you make an informed choice. After all, in the world of data science, there's room for more than one star.